Today on the show, our top dog patron, Rob G. <laughs> suggested a bunch of awesome spots to us. He donates over $250 a month. He's the best. We're going to <laughs> Chicago Dog House. This is our Outrageous Eats episode. Clearly, we have to do that. Absolutely. You ready for some sausages yeah. or hat, hat eggs? Hat eggs? So once again, we're back in DePaul's campus area. Yeah. This is Lincoln. We're walking down. A lot of great bars on this street. I love Lincoln. Gotten drunk on Lincoln a lot. Ooh, real weird freak. What? <laughs> Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you much. What napkins do? Uh, we, we, we buy big bulk off Amazon. We got it in the car. We're weird up. <laughs> Thanks, Have a good one, dude. He gave us free fries. That dude was awesome. That guy was really, really dope. We well, didn't know we were coming in there. Just everyone, we had. Rob was like, you should check this place out. So we came here. Damn, these are good. These are so good. I'm already stoked about this. And Doghouse, whoever that guy is, give him a raise. That guy's awesome. And if you're the owner, give yourself a raise. <laughs> Let's talk about Chicago's Doghouse. We're a uh, little hot dog gourmet sausage shop in uh, Lincoln Park. We do a lot of those uh, exotic sausages, alligator, kangaroo. Two Wagyu, Wagyu, Wagyu sausages with a bunch of jalapenos and cheese and whoo, acquired from Chicago Doghouse, jump cut. I just have like mustard all over my phone. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, so far, so good. Yeah, so far amazing. Some of the best customer service I've come across. Yeah, it's not like we were the only people in there either. Right? Customers. He's great with all of them. All right, this is a Corey Wagner second angle on the Chicago Doghouse specialty sausages that we got. Take it away. All right. Look at that, Ooh. dude. Look <laughs> at that. So these are topped with um, Jardinera. I think it's some sort of like spicy brown mustard maybe. I think so. And then these are, uh, I think, Wagyu beef sausages, maybe, yeah. infused with cheddar and jalapenos. Holy smokes. So cheddar and jalapenos on the inside is what I'm gathering. And give me a top down of those fries. Let me shoot them oh, in this man. bag yeah. real quick. There we go. So it's got that like seasoning, that crisp. The fries that are always the best kind of fries. They're perfectly They look toasted. like this. This is how fries are supposed to look. These are the most perfect uh, French fries I've ever had in my life. I hate when fries aren't crispy. Yup, yup. I don't want soggy ass fries. Boy, am I ready. You and me both, brother. Wow. All right, Wago beef sausages. Chicago Doghouse, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. All the flavor in that sausage, dude. Oh my God. Holy crap, that's a really good. Oh my God. Look at it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know it was gonna be this good. This is bun. That sausage has so much flavor. What mm. is happening? Other way, camera. Oh, this is amazing. The crunch of the dog, but the crunch of the jardinera, which is like celery and peppers and carrots, kind of like in vinegar. It's got mm. a bunch of those spore peppers. It's spicy, and then like that stone brown mustard. Boom. The flavor profile. This is the jardinera use I've been looking for. Yeah. I love jardinera, but I think the things I find it on, it doesn't do it justice except for Mr. Beef's and this. Yeah. This is the best one I've had. Yeah, instantly, mm -hmm. right? The seasonings on the beef is crazy. Oh yeah. Wow, I'm getting some heat now. Did you get that jalapeno cheddar yet? I sure have, dude. It is spicy. Holy smokes. I'm gonna do a little french fry stuff in here. You're the innovator that I love. Mm. I have had some incredible sausages and dogs in this city. Chicago's known for them. This immediately jumps to the top. No doubt, dude. This is like Toledo people are obsessed with Tony Paco's because they do a sausage. Mm -hmm. This is the sausage. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. And so we, when we walked in, we told them, we go, what's like the best, but also the most visually appealing? We love a good thumbnail. The first thing he said, almost without skipping a beat, was beef, a beef, <laughs> was this one. And he knocked it out of the park. Look at that cheese oozing out of the, um, the sausage there. You see a little bit of that cheese oozing out? Jalapeno and cheese injected in there. Do I always know it's really good? When like halfway through the video, I realize I haven't been saying much. That yeah. has been stuffing. Sometimes it just comes down to, hey, bookmark this place and get there. Stop watching us. Dude, between that and the french fries, I mean. It's a crunch. Fries need a crunch. Are legitimately maybe the best french fries I've ever had. Oh my gosh. Rob, 
Thank you. This is amazing. Rob's batting a thousand. He's batting a thousand, all right. And he created a player, and that player's also batting a thousand. He has two guys batting a thousand. The Patreon Rob and the Restaurant Recommendation Rob. R R R. Mm. Dude. If you want to recommend local restaurants in Chicago for us to do, $30 and up patrons, get that right. Rob's about eight times over that, but either way. Wow. Dude, the top of that sausage, the skin of it. There were a couple bites there where the skin of it was so tasty, where it's like, when people talk about charcoaling, there's a big difference between like charcoal and burnt, right? I know. This is perfect. This is that perfect flavor profile. It doesn't taste burnt, it tastes crispy. The, even I'm talking about the sausage even here. This is unbelievable. And Corey, you know how we're wow. doing a local spot and not a fast food restaurant? Yep. When my mouth is burning, dude, yep. it is a spice lord right here. It's got good heat. The french fries are the best I've ever had. Wow, I'm so mad I live so close to this place. But you finally found out about it. I and know. You're, you're not leaving anytime soon. That's the good news, right? Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think a place like that could bring Cubs and Sox fans mm. together as one. Dude, that's the true savior. This is the what we this is what the prophecy talked about. I think I read about that in the Bible. One day, the Chicago Cubs <laughs> and the Chicago White Sox will unite together under one king of God. <laughs> that was a little Adam Sandler. -y. And on the seventh day, he rested and ate Chicago doghouse for 12 straight hours. <laughs> Did he really? You yeah. can tell me anything. I'm hot. Holy smokes, everything about today has been fantastic. Shirt shout out, shirt shout out, shirt shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, people that bought shirts or koozies or stickers or anything off number6withcheese.com. And if you bought more than one thing, you jump the line and we say your name faster because the true kings. they're the next up program. Oh, and I'm wearing my unemployable shirt. If you guys want to check this out, go to unemployables. You can, uh, if the special offer is still running, then you can get it on the Patreon website for unemployables. Yeah, special offer right Check now it for out. those. Shirt shout out number one goes to Chicago's own Ryan Bourdois. I'm gonna try to say it French. Yeah, uh, it, was a, it was a pocket shirt, the, the burger pocket shirt, which is sick, and then a white koozie. Give it up one more time for Mr. Ryan Bourdois. Thank you for buying Ryan. Oh, hell yeah, shirt shout out number two is Scotty West. Ooh, I love Scotty West. High school buddy of mine, I love Scotty. I like to call him and prank him and ask him uh, for Michael's <laughs> in, in information. He used to work at Michael's. I asked him. Oh, the him. store, like the yarn store? Yeah, I call him every time I go there. Did I tell you about this? Yeah. I called him oh, the last yeah. time. Yeah. I haven't worked there in 10 years. <laughs> Why do you keep doing this? Also, one of the only people with adult braces. You got them off, but adult braces and still look so sexy. <laughs> truth, truth. <laughs> he got a pocket shirt, yeah. a white koozie, and a sticker sheet. Scotty West. Scotty bro. West, man. Thank you, Scotty. Oh, that's that union money, bro. Oh. Fight fitters of America unite! You should do their commercials. I should, dude. Clearly. Alright, you sweaty Chicago summer. You sweat. Trying to just ruin me. You know what's so nice much. though? You eat. I've said this before. You eat, right? And then you burn off all the calories from just sweating. The water yep. weight has left my body. That's how calories yep. work. Just facts. Out of facts. five, let's rate it. I gotta get I gotta I gotta rate that thing. I'm so excited to praise it. Out of five, Woodstock sitting on top of Snoopy's doghouse. How many Woodstocks sitting on top of Snoopy's doghouse? You give the Wagyu beef sausage from Chicago Doghouse in the Lincoln Park neighborhood just by DePaul Corey. Man, that was perfect. The french fries were, like I said, I'm not kidding. Those were some of the best french fries I've ever had in my life. The sausage, that was probably the best sausage I've ever had in my life. That was amazing. Usually I'm the type I start eating sausage, by the end I get, honestly, it becomes a little too much. Yeah. Not this one. It was the perfect flavor throughout, cooked perfectly. The way the jardinera mixed with that sausage was perfect. I mean, it was the king of the king. That's a five. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's so good. I'm going to put it up on camera one more time because I'm, I'm missing it right now. I'll tell you what. I remember when just a few minutes ago we hadn't eaten all that yet and it was just right there and now it's gone and I'm going to be returning very soon. That's a five, ladies and gents. Did you ever doubt it for a second? Mm -mm. Third pound banger! Infused with cheddar and jalapenos, topped with Dijon and Jardinera peppers. That is a $10 sausage that is worth every penny. Every penny. Holy crap anoli. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode of Number Six with Cheese. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe right down there to our channel. And we'll love you for it. See you, see you tomorrow. Thanks, Rob. Bye.